responders in Flint called to several instances of downed lines today after the ice added enough weight to bring down tree branches. Utility crews continued to work around the clock to restore power from last week's outages across southern Michigan. But as TV5's Raven Blue reports, this most recent snow and ice means some customers in mid-Michigan will be in the dark tonight. Raven? I'm here in downtown Saginaw, which avoided losing power today and last week when about 280,000 consumer energy customers across southern Michigan uh, lost power. Uh, crews have been working to restore power, but today's storm added to that outage list. We have about 45,000 customers um, across the, the greater mid-Michigan area without power. Monday afternoon's winter storm brought a wintry mix of snow and freezing rain, bringing down power lines across the region, leaving some consumer energy customers without power. It's rare to see two significant storms like this back to back. It causes some challenges, no doubt. Challenges that residents in one Clio community is dealing with. They have been without power since around 3 p.m. Monday and are preparing themselves for a night without electricity. You know, temperatures dropping in the house, so ran over to Walmart to go pick up a few things. You hear generators running up and down the street. We have uh, like an Eden Pier heater uh, to help kind of keep the house maintained. Um, we have our refrigerator hooked up. We got one lamp, uh, our phone chargers, and that's pretty much it, so just the basics. basics. Patiently waiting for the power to return, hoping they will not have to wait as long as downstate customers, some of whom only got their power restored on Sunday. But we're really focused on getting power back to those who've been waiting so patiently, and now we're going to get to work restoring power to those who are seeing new outages right now. Wheeler says more than 600 crews are working around the clock to get power restored to all customers, finishing their work in the south before moving northward. Given current conditions, we're projecting that most people will get their power back by the end of the day Wednesday. Many people will see power back sooner. Wheeler says consumers is looking at about 80,000 customers without power and with the um, weather us coming again. He doesn't think that that number will change dramatically, but with Mother Nature, you never know. Live in Saginaw, Raven Blue, WNEM TV5. All right, thank you, Raven. Michigan